Hi, I'm Alexis, the owner and designer at Merge and Center, an Etsy shop that specializes in Google Sheets templates. Today, I'm going to show you the meal prep planner. There are five different tools in the meal prep planner, the weekly menu, the recipes list, the shopping list, the meal prep to-do list, and the special occasion meal planner. The customized sheet is where you can customize all of the drop-down menus that appear on other sheets. Let's go through each of these sheets one by one. The weekly menu sheet is where you're going to jot down all of your breakfasts, lunches, dinners, snacks, and desserts for the week. To change the dates that appear at the top here, double click on the far left date cell. You'll see a calendar and you can choose the day that you want to start your week on. And all of the dates that follow that are gonna automatically populate. So you only ever need to change the left hand most date cell. This quick notes row here is just for any high level notes that you want to make on each day. I've got meal prep planning on Thursday and grocery shopping on Tuesday. This is one of the drop down menus that you can fully customize on the customize sheet. So if you don't see the option you want or you want to add more, head over to the customize sheet. The recipes list is going to come to you blank, but this is what it might look like after you have filled it out with a bunch of different recipes. Just add your recipe name, your recipe type. This is another drop down menu that you can customize on the customize sheet. You can add your main ingredients here if you'd like the ability to search by ingredient. You can copy links to recipes right into here. You've got a recipe rating column. And this is another drop down that can be customized on the customize sheet and then a column for notes. If you are a chef in your household and you're creating your own recipes or you want to digitize some family recipes that you have in like a physical format, like on a card or on a piece of paper, you can use the create new custom recipe from template button. And this is actually going to prompt you to make a copy of a Google Doc template that I've created that comes with the meal prep planner. So if I click on that, I'm going to be prompted to make a copy. Go ahead and click that. Now I've got a copy of the template and I can fill this all out with my recipe information. When you're done, don't forget to rename at the top here. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a bunch of different copies of recipe card template documents in your Google Drive. And then to get this in your recipe list on the meal prep planner, click on the share button in the upper right and then copy link. Now that I've got that link copied, I'm gonna come back over to the meal prep planner and add that recipe here. So now you can see the link that I have in here is to that recipe card. I have filtering turned on on these so you can sort to kind of see like things with like things. You can also use the sorting and filtering to search for individual things. Like let's say I just wanted to see my dinner recipes. I would select clear to get rid of all those check marks there. Select dinner, then okay. And then all I see are the dinner recipes. To turn the filtering off again, I'll go back to that little funnel icon, select all and click okay. For a quick way to look for a particular recipe, I would suggest using Control F or Command F if you're on Apple. This will bring up this little finder, and then you can just type in what you're looking for and flip through all the places that that appears. That's just the fastest way that I find to look for particular recipes in my recipe list. The shopping list sheet is straightforward. It uses some larger fonts, and this is so that it is kind of optimized for using on your cell phone. So what I'll do is I'll add all of my items to the shopping list. I'll add the grocery section that that item appears in. And then before I go to the grocery store, I'll just sort my grocery sections from A to Z. The way that I use this is I actually have the grocery sections organized by the order that they appear in the grocery store that I go to regularly. So on the customized sheet, here's the grocery section where you can update all of these. I would suggest keeping the A, B, C, D prefix to these entries and just switching around the grocery section that follows it and putting it in the order that your grocery store is laid out in. That way, 
when you order everything from A to Z on the shopping list sheet, when you open it up on your mobile phone, all of your grocery items are going to appear in the order that you will come across them in your grocery store. Like I said, these checkboxes are really big on the computer, but they're going to be just the right size for your fingers to check them off as you go when you're on a mobile device. I would recommend having either the Google Drive app on your phone or the Google Sheets app. This will allow you to more quickly find your meal prep planner. The meal prep to-do list is another checklist, and this is just for jotting down the different things that you need to do to kind of prep your meals if you do things in advance of the week. So like sometimes I'll cook ground turkey and then refrigerate it, cook white rice and refrigerate it in advance of some of the meals that I'm going to be making later in the week. There's a recipe note column here in case it's useful for you to know like what different recipes you're doing these things for. And then of course you can check these things off as you go. The special occasion sheet is for planning special occasion meals that require a lot more coordination, especially coordination with other people who are going to be contributing. So potluck dinners, Thanksgiving dinners, any big holiday dinner where you have a lot of family and people are going to be contributing different things and you have a lot of different things that you're juggling at the same time. So you've got some information up here about the occasion that you can enter and then you can kind of list out all the recipes that you're going to be needing to make or account for. There's an additional column here for cook slash provider, and that is just to help you as you're coordinating who brings what. As I mentioned before, the customize sheet is where you can customize all the drop-down menus that appear on other sheets. You can also change up the emoji that appears in the header of all of the other sheets. And then there's a resources section at the bottom here. We've got a couple of Google Sheets templates in case those are useful to you a link to the tutorial that you're watching now. Here's an additional link to that recipe card template that I showed you earlier. And then if you have any feedback or suggestions on the meal prep planner as you're using it, I would love to hear your feedback. And you can do that at the feedback and suggestion box link. This is just going to bring you to a Google form that you can fill out and submit for me to see. Thank you so much for purchasing the meal prep planner. I hope it makes your meal prepping and meal planning a breeze. Thanks for watching.